Good morning with my little sal di riso panettone. Some of you guys have asked and this panettone is from Longo's. I've only ever seen it at Longo's, even going to a bunch of Italian grocery stores. I've never found the sal di riso one. So you can get it at Longo's if you guys are Canadian. It's so delicious and my favorite one is still the tiramisu one. And last year we had more options in Canada. We had like a bunch of them, frutta di bosco and I don't even know, we just tried a bunch, but the best one has been tiramisu. Guys, it's not every day that I'm home alone, but actually I don't know why I'm saying good morning. It's actually the afternoon, but everyone stepped out for a bit. So it's just me and I'm eating a little bit of Julia's sourdough bread. It's so delicious. I actually haven't been motivated to make sourdough bread lately because she's making it all the time. And I'm just so lazy to feed my sourdough starter that I put him in the fridge for a little bit, but mm, I love sourdough. It's so, honestly, it's fun to make. It's very therapeutic, but it's also nice when somebody else makes it too. <laughs> Hello, little patoots. It's just me and little Luna for now, for a little bit. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> she's so cute. So guys, you just saw me having my not even lunch, but a little kind of snack. When I'm home alone, I'm just not motivated to cook for myself. So I really end up snacking. I can only cook nice meals when I'm cooking for somebody else too, because just for me, it kind of feels like a waste. I don't know how you guys are, but I'm just a snacker when I don't have to cook for anybody. Oh my goodness. But of course I always cook for my baby Loon. I make little Luna her own fresh food. So she has a mix of fresh homemade food and dog food. Isn't that right? And she's a little picky eater. Yes, you're an angel. She's beautiful. Do you guys have dogs at home? I absolutely love dogs. I've had dogs since I was a little girl. And when I didn't have dogs, I would cry to my parents that I wanted a dog so badly. I couldn't even go to a pet shop without leaving it crying hysterically in tears because I wanted a dog so badly. So I don't think I'll ever have a life without a doggy. Never. So since I'm home alone, I'm going to take advantage and wrap a couple gifts. I am so sad that Nikita's Christmas gift, I don't know what's going on with it. I ordered it like, I think nearly two months ago and it still hasn't shipped, at least I don't think so. So that it might not come for Christmas, that's what they're telling me. So I'm heartbroken guys, now would have been the perfect time to wrap it that he's not here, but he ordered Luna these little Amazon dog toys. I sent him a link. I didn't think that he was going to get them and he ordered them and they're 13 dog toys and this was such a good deal. I think it was like around the $20 mark. So I will link this down below if you guys are interested. But look how cute this is. They have like a bunch of different kind of dog toys and Luna does need some nice clean ones. And she really likes these little ones, you know, the smaller ones because she's such a small little girl. So I'm going to be wrapping these today right in front of her actually she's sleeping but yeah that's basically all i'll be doing for the next 15 minutes <laughs> i'm wrapping a gift for you but you don't even know you're getting a gift on christmas day huh you don't even know sorry that it looks so messy in here but luna sometimes makes a mess of thing when she's hiding toys and yeah since it's a gloomy day i have the tree going all day today and here are a few more Christmas gifts added. Nikita wrapped mine. He did such a good job. He even chose the wrapping paper by himself and he chose a nutcracker wrapping paper, which I love the nutcracker. So I'll say he did a pretty good job. Okay, Luna's little gift under the Christmas tree. I think it looks really cute and different from the other ones. So you can definitely tell. It's advent calendar time. Chocobon for the kinder. I missed out on a couple days. So look how good these last few days are that I missed. We got a Santa, we got this one, which is probably the best. And then this one, another favorite. I already opened these for my Ferrero and the chocolate favoris, I ate them. <laughs> okay, let's do this one next, number 20. Oh, finally, finally this almond one. Mm, I'm actually gonna eat this one probably because I'm really excited about this. I haven't received this one yet this year. Do you know what this tastes like? It kind of tastes like the Ferrero Rocher, but without the chocolate. So it's sort of like um, a nice hazelnutty white chocolate version of the actual Ferrero Rocher. And it's really, really good. So very delicious. Sad this is my only one so far in this advent calendar, but hopefully there's more to come of these ones. Ooh, this looks nice. Cocoa cream, brandy, and white chocolate ganache. Wow, look how lovely this one is. It almost looks like tree bark. And this is the one with brandy. Mm, I'm gonna give this a try right now. So delicious, guys, really good. Doing number 20 in Julia's bedroom. Oh, and I ripped it, that's okay. <laughs> Ta-da! <gasps> what the? <laughs> mm. 
I love her little puppy breath. I just love it. I just love it. I once heard a rumor that chihuahuas were used in ancient times, I think in the Mayan times, as like sort of a heating pad. <laughs> That just makes me laugh so much because they are so they're so tiny but they are so warm and they love to snuggle so it would make sense that they were used for that purpose my little luna she's my little heating bed she's so sweet what a good girl so i'm really happy that we got luna those little toys too that you saw me wrap the other day because she does get excited for christmas morning this is going to be our third christmas together and when she watches us unwrap gifts and like throwing the wrapping paper everywhere i think she's thinking like Hello, what's for me? Do I get to play with something? So I'm so excited to give her all of her toys, especially since when the Christmas decorations go, we're going to wrap up all of her Christmas looking toys. So she's gonna miss those ones. So it's nice that she has some new toys and I feel like she's due for that. So do you guys get your dog anything for Christmas or am I just a little bit kooky? <laughs> but I sent it to Nikita showing him the link to it on Amazon. So I will link it down below. And he just surprised me and he ordered it online and it wasn't even that expensive for all those toys that you get. It's even cheaper than HomeSense. And because HomeSense is closed because our area is in lockdown, we ordered it off Amazon. Amazon is sort of like a savior for this COVID right now. So if I haven't already mentioned it, I think I've sort of briefly mentioned it, but I haven't really spoken about it, but our area is in lockdown and all of Ontario, so I'm from Canada and all of Ontario, our province is going to have a nationwide lockdown, I believe after Boxing Day or on Boxing Day, I can't remember the exact rules but either way my area specifically is also in lockdown and we're going to be in lockdown for about a month so i actually want to ask you guys not that i like to dwell on like covid and things like that because we don't need another reminder about that but it is our reality and i'm so curious to know where you guys are from where you're watching and how your area is handling covid if you guys are going back into a lockdown or if you guys have a much lower cases and you're kind of able to live a little bit more of a normal life i'm just really curious to know because i don't know it just fascinates me how areas certain areas have been handling it so much better than others i don't know i feel like ours is sort of like the middle ground we're okay at handling it but we could definitely be better so yeah i'm just curious to know where you guys are from and what is your current state of lockdown measures due to covid so let me know in the comments down below i will definitely be reading all of those with interest because i'm very curious i have a little meat free lunch today some nice coleslaw that is courtesy of Camila McConaughey <laughs> and then I have some potatoes these are just done in the air fryer and then I toss them with some garlic and dill they're really yummy and Julia's hummus still going even though this is the last bit of it so yes it's nice to have a nice meat-free lunch totally vegan hey guys so I'm just listening to a podcast if you guys like Justin Long and The Bachelorette he has podcast with Nick Vial doing like a bachelorette catch-up on the Vial files, so I already listened to that one. Now I'm listening to the first one because I missed it, and it's really good, so I'm listening to a podcast while baking. I'm sort of recipe testing and trying to get a good recipe out for you guys. It's like a Christmas recipe. It's more for myself, but then I figured, hey, I might as well recipe test, and if it comes out good, I can either film this recipe or make a blog post on it. Since our KitchenAid is broken, I'm trying to make do. So just working on a little almond cookie recipe. So it's also going to be gluten-free. Good morning, guys. Don't I look super festive in my Christmas sweater? I think this is the last Christmas sweater that I have to wear before Christmas because I'm pretty sure I've worn them all. Today is pretty much just a day of errands, some last minute errands before Christmas Eve. I'm sure I'll be doing errands tomorrow as well, but I don't know if the tomorrow vlog will be looped in with all of these. I think I'll have enough content for one vlog, so you're going to be seeing a couple days worth. I hope you don't mind in these videos. I just feel like I haven't been doing things that are that exciting. <laughs> so I didn't want to give you like filler vlogs. I still want every day to be sort of cute and sort of nice. So <laughs> <laughs> who's this gay? I come to surprise you uh, <laughs> with my messy hair. With his quarantine hair, guys. No haircut since probably since I shaved your head or you had one haircut I since I shaved your head. Wow. <laughs> Bad head. <laughs> Bad head at the end of the day. That's Nikita. <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to just run some simple errands and yeah. Our Christmas Eve spread is happening so soon and we have some really cute things planned. My mom, sisters and I, we got together the other night and we kind of just like for fun made up a name for our menu. So every dish we gave like a festive and cute name. It's so funny. So then we're going to whip out like a little menu card and we're going to print it out. 
feel like I should talk in like a different area because I feel like I have more things to say. We still want to make Christmas Eve a very fun experience. So we got really cutesy with our menu. I'm sure I'll show you guys that on Christmas Eve. And we just have a lot of nice food planned. We're just cooking a lot of good food. We're Italian, so it's going to be a lot of fish. And I can't wait to show you that, but that's in the, probably the next vlog. So yeah, I'm just really excited for Christmas Eve. Even though times are different, it will still hopefully be a good Christmas Eve to remember. All right, let me go run some errands now. <laughs> Our gifts under the tree and little baby Luna. This is the first year that I have no idea what on earth my sisters got me at all. Usually I have an idea and usually Jen will ruin it and Jules might give us some kind of clue. I have no clue at all. So that's exciting, yay. All right, so I just ran some errands and now I'm back in my pajamas. These are, honestly, this is the best shirt I bought all year. <laughs> I would have never paid the normal price for it, but since I had to do that return and get this shirt, it's so comfortable. This is like my new favorite Christmas sweater because I just want to be in it all the time. It's so warm and cozy and I'm the kind of person who's just always at home freezing. So I love this sweater. This is for mommy, not for the baby, okay? I'm going to be opening the Chocolate Favoris advent calendar and none of the other ones because you've already seen the other ones in this vlog so I'll spare you guys the repetition but this one is always different so let's open up this one for today and today is the 22nd oh my gosh mmm nutcracker milk I think we had nutcracker dark as I say to spare you the repetition and it's literally the same but <laughs> nutcracker milk which I really love this one a lot like I said I think they do their pralines and their hazelnut chocolate's very good so this is the milk mm, no not for the baby i'm sorry santa's coming luna santa's even coming for you i should put luna's gift under her baby tree over here yes i should my angel <laughs> okay i get you a treat now okay we do it don't worry what are you doing what on earth are you doing Okay guys, so I'm just going to be doing my nails and watching The Bachelorette, just trying to choose a color. Oh, I actually love this color. I bought this in Italy. I would have clearly bought a backup this year if I was able to go. This one is such a nice red, but look, it looks like there's not enough to do my nails and my toes, so we'll see because I have to do both. Are you guys watching The Bachelorette this season? Tonight is the final episode, so we're going to find out. We're going to find out that she picked Zach, basically. <laughs> Maybe I'll do some holiday bling on one of my nails. We'll see, even though I'm kind of sick of red and bling and I think I still do want to do red, so we'll see how it goes. So I did this over and over a Gwen OPI Gwen Stefani nail polish in this red color. This is sort of like a true red, which I've had on my nails the entire time. Hope that my nails are strong enough that I don't need the sparkle anymore because I'm so overdoing sparkle with red, but I love this red color. It's so pretty. It's definitely like a true red. So I don't know if this is limited edition. It looks like it, but I love this color. So this has almost concluded vlogmas. I have a couple of vlogs left and I have a feeling those are going to be the more exciting ones because you're probably going to be seeing Christmas Eve as well. So that's pretty exciting. The next few days are just going to be me baking and prepping for Christmas. So stay tuned for that. I will include it in my vlogs. I think I'll probably be grouping the 23rd, 24th and maybe 25th if I'm still doing it by then or I'll upload the 23rd and 24th together and see how things are. Sorry, I'm just talking out loud because I need to gather my thoughts, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Every comment, every like, every subscriber means so much to me. So guys, happy Vlogmas. These were the most days lumped into one, but I did the least. So I just wanted to keep this vlog entertaining for you guys, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye.